girls welcome back to the channel hey hey welcome back to the channel hey hey <laughs> switch it up anyway this is just me getting bored first post of the year like i've been down and out it's time to get it rolling i took an old wig um i was like this wig is gross and dirty like let's revamp her um the hairline is really cute so i was like okay let's like do something cute with it so i did as you can see from the title and the thumbnail i did the skunk stripe um trend thing that's going on finally i'm a little late to it but it's okay i decided to do green because i have never had a, a green wig before it's not fully green but you know like even that hint of it as it being the main part of the wig i thought would be cute that's where we're at right now i have not done my makeup in forever um i washed my face like um my skin is like doing black right now but it's okay without further ado guys let's get right on into the video uh i already filmed myself doing the wig but let's cut to that um me my little process that i did it's not the neatest i could have done better but hey it's a learning experience so <laughs> you guys go ahead and stay tuned and keep on watching okay y'all first of all forgive me please um i have been sitting on this video for so long because they deleted my fully edited 40 minute long tutorial that was so in-depth but i decided to re-edit it and everything for y'all because this is still one of my favorite looks to this date this was back in january i took this old doodle wig baby and we redid her okay so i'm just gonna have to re-talk through it oh my god i'm sick but i want y'all to see this process for anybody who hasn't done the skunk stripe uh trend or really want to do it themselves i did it myself and it turned out fire and it wasn't perfect so y'all know i like showing my mistakes um for those who are beginners like me uh let's get it okay so i just sectioned off this hair uh, you see the middle part was already in there so I, that was like the perfect guideline i just took ba basically about an inch and a half away from that middle portion on both sides of the hair and sectioned that um off because i want that part to stay black and then we took a good two inch section on both sides of those middle parts and that is the part that we're going to bleach and i just took a square section um make sh making sure not to go all the way to the end of the uh, lace front because i did want that part to still be black um and then i sectioned everything else away i'm only bleaching those two chunks and i'm using um bw2 powder whatever however you say it you know that powder with some bleach it's gonna be listed down below baby i made the bleach um really not too thin not too thick um pretty much what i'd a little thinner than what i'd use to bleach my knots i've bleached my knots before on this wig though so you know i didn't need to do that again and it is dirty so like you know i will not dirty but it, you know i hadn't washed it since the last time probably like two years ago that i wore this wig so i was like it is what it is when i wash it i'll wash the glue out and all that so you know you don't need to the way the hair does not need to be it cannot be wet obviously when you're bleaching so basically what i did was um i really saturated the hair okay like when i say this whole section needs to be bleached like down you need to saturate the crap out of this hair you cannot miss the edges or anything or else it's gonna look really patchy and really weird you'll see um when i get done bleaching how mine was a little patchy like i could have had it more saturated i'm so like sensory with things i do not be wanting to touch the bleach and then my gloves get all bleach filled and it's just so dirty it's like a messy process but honestly you got to get your hands dirty you got to get your hands in there like you know just like make sure though you do take small sections like i did and try to get to that root you want to get all the way to where the lace is and you want every piece to be bleached okay because it's going to be need to be bright green and if you miss a spot then it's going to be black still and it's going to look crazy so this was um after i let the bleach process for uh, about i want to say 20 minutes um I went back through those sections and added 40 vial developer on the one on the places that I had just bleached because I'm like, OK, I need that to cook a little bit faster. I didn't want one side to be brighter than the other or something. So I'm like, OK, well, you know, after some of it stopped processing, I just took it out of the um, the foil and I just like resaturated it with higher developer. I don't know if that works. I, I do have my cos license, y'all, I swear. But good God almighty, I don't remember these processes. It was a few years ago that I graduated, girl. I don't remember, okay? But 
this is how we're looking so far obviously you gotta rinse the bleach out you need to wash it out before you add your color so you're gonna wash the hair literally twice um but it's okay so yeah it actually it got up to like a level seven what is this, level seven eight it was pretty good um i was like oh this is too dark but honestly it did really good with the color on top and all the products that i'm using to wash and stuff are going to be down below um yeah i was excited because i'm like okay like that's that's yellow but the lime green it should look cute you know i did green because i never have done green i don't like the color green so i was like let's do something that i'm not used to okay we just mixed all these different little dyes i had sitting around the house baby and yeah um i just pulled it like i poured it in a bowl i mixed it up and i put it on just like that i didn't add no conditioner or anything like that i look i didn't know if i was supposed to okay we just added the color right to the hair okay honey um again we took little sections to make sure everything was super saturated but by the end of it like i kind of like again you do want to be very careful on the root like i went a little below where the blonde was meeting the um knots of the wig on the lace as you can see i like took a comb and i combed it through when i was close to the root of the hair because it made it look super natural you don't want your knots to be green because then it's gonna be super hard to like blend into your skin so make sure you leave a little tiny bit um blonde kind of like if you were to bleach your knots on a black wig you want those knots to be blonde because it's gonna you know be able to blend into your skin better same thing with the color so don't put the green directly on the lace or it will dye it you know what i'm saying so whatever color you use don't put it on the lace baby give you some room okay um yeah so i'm just making sure everything's super saturated um and i'm just like all right screw it we getting our hands dirty because this need i want this all to be like green as heck and as you can see uh i really went was careful around the lace and the knots survived and honestly it was so green i loved it but as you can see that little piece I'm, I, I got right there that's one of the pieces that i did not bleach like it, it did it wasn't saturated enough so it didn't take the color well so when you do the the bleach is like the indicator that okay it's going to be super bright so you want to make sure that you really bleach it really really good and everything's super even okay um it turned out really bright though like i was shook because i'm like wait a minute that actually looks crazy and i'm like if i don't curl this if i just like flat iron this it probably would look nuts so the curls made it look look, look like really in depth and like just gave it some depth it was really pretty after i added layers to it and stuff like um this is me just waxing it down so i can uh, um press it down and make sure it's like really flat so then when i curl it it's just gonna be so pretty and honestly the lace on this wig was everything i believe it was from wild african again it's gonna be down below it's literally it's just from one of the uh various companies i've used over the years i believe it's an asian brand it wasn't a, a black owned company that i would have remembered but yeah um i'm not sure exactly who but it's gonna be down below okay and yeah the wig the wigs lace is really nice so guys you seen what i did this is where we're at right now i have curled her yesterday um so the curls didn't fall much i'm not gonna lie they look good i just um used this uh curling wand iron curling iron it is by conair and I think you can get this from the beauty supply for real. Like I'm pretty sure it's like 20, 30 bucks, one inch. Just make sure you get a one inch barrel. If you want the curls to look like this, you'll see when I comb through it, how luscious and pretty it looks. But yeah, so I did cut a lot of layers in this hair. As you can see, look how short, this is like one of the shortest layers right here. So yeah, and then I kept the front um, straight for now because I'm gonna curl it obviously when I put it on I just want the curls to be fresher and them to fall a certain way so I'm like I don't know where I'm gonna part this yet so we're gonna wait for all of that <laughs> I don't think I want to do a middle part I'm gonna do a side part I think so yeah let's get right on into this install baby oh and as I was showing on camera like like I said it's not the neatest I could have did I haven't dyed hair in a long time like I'm pretty much just been buying my wigs as they are so like what I would recommend if you want like a really um bright color like this I mean this is neon green you know you or any color that you're doing even if it's pink blue orange whatever you want to make sure that the hair is super saturated when you're bleaching it 
obviously I at the time I thought it was saturated but I'm like I, I probably could have did it better I know I could have I could have really worked that bleach all the way through but I was just being lazy y'all and it it came back to bite me because I do have a little couple of patches I'm, I'm gonna be transparent like it's not the best dye job but um like as you can see like these like yellow kind of spots are where the bleach didn't take all the way on the hair it didn't process as long as the other parts hey look i'm a cosmetologist but baby i have not done this in a minute um <laughs> so don't be too hard of a critic on me it's my first time too y'all i don't be dying hair like that i just be throwing wigs on but yeah so um i'm happy with it though i think it's gonna look really cute so we'll see at the end this bonnet by the way is by glamour me and oh there go the logo i literally love the products i used their shampoo as well as the conditioner to wash this week smells so good it's coconut smelling so i was excited to use those products black owned business support if you can And after that quick fasten and a hurry little install baby we are getting into these curls so as you can see i am curling these curls away from my face and this was when i was like still testing to see how to do curls but now i know exactly how to do them literally off of doing this wig okay um this was back in january again so you know i was still experimenting that's a vertical cur curl right there as you can see the wand the barrel of my curler was vertical to my head head that is a vertical curl if i wanted to do a horizontal curl i would have came in and had the barrel horizontal to my head which is what i'm doing right now as you can see um so the curl is completely different it looks completely different if you do vertical curls the one i did before they're more, more like um like waves i'd say like 
but vertical i mean uh, horizontal curls to me look more like flat iron curls and i really like them way better um and they just look really big and fluffy i really really like them and they give you that like oomph, you know in the front of your face like they shape around your face and i love them um so it, for this wig i mixed vertical and horizontal curls on accident because i was experimenting and everything was just turning out so good so i was just going with the flow but yeah um experiment with y'all curls y'all like this this wand curler had changed my life i mean it literally was just an accident buy it was like 30 bucks i was just buying it to buy it and it's turned out great better than my expensive ones you know so do what you gotta do y'all like for real look at that curl baby don't play with her and when always take your curls and like comb them boys out with a big tooth comb baby ooey fire okay every time so yeah now i know how to curl hair woo um and i've been curling my wigs ever since okay um yes but uh curling away from the face always on both sides of my my face because it just looks so pretty it frames the face so perfectly and you'll see when i comb out these curls okay you can look uh do a little uh man like a little manual cool shot to just hold the curl up in your hands while it cools off um but honestly i wanted mine to be not too perfect or anything i wanted them to be like kind of fluffy and stuff so i just let it be i let them hang um and yeah this worked out perfectly guys the the color turned out so fire and i did um like part my hair pretty far into the green because i wanted to see the green on both sides of my head so again up to you when you do whatever color you want to do but i want to do this again to another wig because it's just so cool looking um again still my favorite look ever make sure y'all go to part two on my youtube channel to watch me do the makeup look um yeah this was just part one was the install baby you want to see the makeup look because everything just came together so perfect perfect enough for me to re-upload this even though my stuff got deleted <laughs> i still love this look like the best look i've ever done in my life um so yeah make sure y'all go watch part two okay we did add some baby hairs uh and they were green and black we just did them all we did we was like we going bigger or going home okay so um this again so many milestones in this video y'all like that's why i had to re-upload it because i learned how to do the fluffy baby hairs in this video too so i was shook um yeah so the fluffy baby hairs actually since this uh i've done them over and over again i have actually learned that y'all might wanna like i took the little baby curly oh wait hold on let me just appreciate me combing this out with this big tooth comb oh my goodness yes ma'am okay just yes just yes to all of this i love it and even the little yellow pieces that didn't get bleached very well i thought it just added a little bit of character to the hair it was so cool okay so here we are we doing the baby hairs right i plucked them a little bit because you know this wig old i was like Ugh, we want to make sure this these this lace is covered up everything's perfect so as you can see i took my little half inch curlers and i curled them upwards because that's what i saw like in this little arrogant tape video or whatever but i actually found from this other tutorial i watched this creator talk about is curling them um inwards instead of like up like that so like curl it like a normal curl and you'll find the um like the fluffiness of them look like it's just way easier to comb in so like i was combing these baby hairs to try to lay them down for so long you put a little freeze blast or a little bit of got to be like the clear gel on your finger and do it and it like it, it turns out pretty cute but like if you curl them under i mean over it's way easier to get that fluffy look like with so much less time y'all
all right y'all hit that description and go to part two now okay to see how i got this gorgeous makeup look um y'all are gonna want to see how i did this so thank you all for watching and let's go to part two